Hey everyone, I'm Marissa Roberto. Welcome to another episode of Bar Downloadable. Back in October, EA Sports NHL ran a career simulation for number one first overall pick, Alexi Lafreniere. If their predictions are anywhere close, then Lafreniere is going to do some insane things with the Rangers. EA did not stop with just the number one overall pick. EA also unveiled their career simulation for number two overall pick, Quinton Byfield, with the LA Kings. According to EA Sports NHL, Byfield will rack up 556 goals, 964 assists, a Hart Trophy, two Ted Lindsay Awards, and a Stanley Cup. So that's pretty damn good. Compare that side by side to the Lafreniere simulation and it's pretty even. With Byfield scoring more goals and earning more individual trophies. So what's your take? Could Byfield score more goals and rack up more trophies in his career than Lafreniere? Let us know. Last week we mentioned the awesome speedrunning event, awesome games done quick, or AGDQ. Prior to this event, GDQ had raised over $25 million for charity. And now after AGDQ wrapped up on January 10th, they'll be adding another $2.7 million to that total. All the money raised will be going to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. I'd just like to remind you weekly that gamers are incredible, doing incredible things all of the time, okay? If you weren't able to catch any of the speedruns, here are a few of the many highlights from the event. Starting with a blindfolded run of Super Mario 64. Blindfolded, come on. Let's do this. Uses the whoosh sound to time this throw. Like it's a two frame window. No, no. no. <laughs> first try <Yes. slide. laughs> Wow. Then there was this incredibly technical run of Ocarina of Time. All right, fourth time. There, there we, we go. go. And, and so with that's that, the end, and that's time. All of this is, of course, to reiterate that this event is incredible, so do not miss out on Summer Games Done Quick happening in a few months, right? Promise me. 2020 was a year to remember in gaming because there were so many genre-changing titles, but which ones brought the most cash? A report by Super Data Research listed the top revenue-earning premium titles of 2020. Cyberpunk 2077 comes at number eight. The Amazing Animal Crossing New Horizons 7th. I say amazing because you should still play. If you haven't played Animal Crossing? What's the matter for you? And then in the top three, there's GTA 5, FIFA 20, and finally Call of Duty Modern Warfare in first. The addition of Warzone certainly helped Call of Duty roll in nearly $2 billion as they almost doubled the second place game. Do you have any idea how much money that is? Okay, I know we just say like million, billion, like it's no big deal. No, billion. We're only a couple weeks into 2021 and we might already have our most unexpected crossover of the year. Uh, yeah, we're talking about SpongeBob SquarePants and the NFL. Just SpongeBob belongs in every sport, obviously. Madden 21 saw a bit of a bikini bottom takeover as brand new modes and wearable items came to the yard. Although the SpongeBob themed Madden edition caught us by surprise, the real treat was the Chicago Bears and New Orleans Saints playing on Nickelodeon. The kid-friendly broadcast was great for young audiences. And if we're being real, who didn't enjoy the crazy graphics with all the slime? The highlight of it all might have just been SpongeBob's menacing smile staring down the kickers as they try to hit field goals. Who knew the SpongeBob NFL collab was a 100% the way to go? But hey, before we shift away from Madden, shout out to Jabata Mitch, who might be the most hyped Madden player we have ever seen. <laughs> And finally, a huge congratulations to the Gref for shattering Twitch viewership records. Shattering. The Spanish streamer was unveiling his new Fortnite skin after climbing past 1 million. Past 2 million! He eventually peaked at nearly 2.5 million concurrent viewers. The previous record was 1.1 million. These are absolutely groundbreaking numbers and other notable streamers reached out to congratulate him. Hola Gregory. Como estas? Bueno? Yo increíble. How do I congratulate him in Spanish? Felicitaciones? No sé. Mi español es muy mal. That's all I got. That's all, I got. all right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.